I don't think I like this side honestly. I think it's too deep, don't you think? No. That's better. Fast lane, girl, you know you riding. I do my thing and you on my side. I gotta do it cause she pretty, pretty. I gotta do it cause she pretty, pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Look, this pretty. Little Miss Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Look, this pretty. Little Miss Pretty, pretty, pretty. You know that be you. Pretty people, pretty girl, and that pretty little sweet. Hi, you guys. So I'm super, super excited because I have a whole bunch of hauls planned for you guys and I need to fix my shirt. I have a whole bunch of hauls planned for you guys. So guess where I just got finished shopping and got all of my stuff yesterday. It's not like I have a problem or anything. Right? So if you follow me on Instagram, I basically posted a picture of that beautiful big box that I recently got from Hot Look and I was like the saga continues sneak peek hot look what did i do from hot look part two make sure you follow me on instagram to find all types of sneak peeks and also um follow cc please because we have a fourth of july sale going on you get 25 percent off your assorted package full of brownie pop cupcake pop and all this other stuff so yeah just to do a shameless plug in i'm going to show you everything that i got from hot look including what was in that big box Holy crap, it's huge. Um, so two companies was on there. One of them I've never heard of before. Another one that I've heard of and I just I just never got around to experimenting with it. And also another brand that we all well know and love, which is called NYX. Um, so I'm gonna do the one. It's Urban Decay um and Pro Love Makeup, which I, I think it's called Pro Love Makeup. I'll put it somewhere in the video when I can remember. Basically what it is, is they sell makeup training cases and makeup cases and makeup bags to hold your makeup. So, you know, I thought that would be pretty cool to have in my arsenal to, you know, unclutter some of this stuff that I have up here that I've accumulated over the years. Start with the Urban Decay. Now, I, the only thing that I own from Urban Decay is the Moon Dust Eyeshadow that I got from my Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of may and that was because of they just randomly select people to give extra stuff to to try out you know so i just got some moon dust eyeshadow and i think i got it in stargazer which is a pretty gold shade but i was like that's not enough for me i have to try out some more so i mean k went on hot look and i basically shouted from the rooftop on twitter i was like everybody is on hot look oh my god i got this pretty blush and can we talk about this packaging this packaging is everything. Like the snake is sexy. I don't know. It's just really pretty. I got their cheek tint blush, and I got it in this shade fetish. Well, yeah, fetish. It's called the Afterglow Glide On Gl Cheek Tint. So I got it in the shade fetish, which clearly you can see it is like a pretty, like everyday, like pink. It's gonna give a lot of color. You get this. I did. Well, Chantel used this in her um, makeup tutorial that I am editing for her. The girl can't edit, but you know, whatever. So I'm editing tutorial, and this is one of the blushes that she used. She got really inspired by the packaging. It's really sexy, and it's the phone, really. So um, basically, that's what the color, and the color is very light. As you can see, it's just like a little natural blush. Like she said, it's one of those, like, you've been doing something very naughty, and... You just get an afterglow and it just gives a nice glowy effect and this is a really buildable color like you can really build it up it's amazing the thing that i got that i've been using lately and testing it out so i can review it for you on instagram and on tumblr it is the urban decay deep slick in a tube mattifying gel holy crap what this does mattify you it does prolong my makeup a good while the only thing bad i have to say about it is the smell at first in the tube, it smells like regular lotion, and then when you take it out, it just smells plasticky. It's like you're putting plastic on your face. I'm like, mm. I do like this a lot. I probably would have got the powder instead of the primer, but it kind of has like this, the consistency is almost like coconut oil, if you will. Like, what happens is once you put it on your face, it just completely melts. 
And then you got to um, put, you have to be quick with it because it can dry pretty fast. And once it dries, you can kind of tell like where the primer does not hit. <laughs> so um, you gotta be really fast when it comes to this primer. Um, it's kind of like if coconut oil and milk of magnesia got together and made the Urban Decay Deep Switching. So that's the best way I can describe it. I'm sorry, I'm a bad describer. So um, I also picked up the setting sprays that I heard so much about. Um, this is from their old packaging. I think they're trying to get rid of it on Hot Look, and I just got the travel size. Since I'm gonna be traveling this month. And where I'm going is going to be really, really hot, so makeup is, like, prone to be meltdown. So, if I can prolong it as long as I can, I'm definitely going to try it. The All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And this is, once again, their old packaging and the travel size. It's the long-lasting makeup setting spray that everybody raves and talks about. So, um, I'm glad I picked it up. And I also got the Deep Switch Oil Control one, since I have oily skin. And this is usually just for everyday use. Um, I had tried this for um, a good while and then I realized I had to, you know, put it away because I liked it so much and it's paraben free and oil free. So, I like that a lot about the makeup that it's very paraben free. Okay, so on to NYX. I got a whole lot of NYX products. More than what I did last time for my last video, which I will do in the description box below. Um, in my last video, I basically only got like two sets. From there, this time I got four. So, whew. the first set um, is the Matte Matters lipstick set, and basically it's a whole bunch of their matte lipstick. They had two sets of these. Um, I got this one, and the other one I forget. I think it's called Pretty and Pink Matte Collection. I don't know, but oh, I got a headache. I'm, I'm gonna tell you about the colors and swatch them for you. So the first one is Summer Breeze, which has to be my absolute favorite, which is a pink. It is a matte pink. And they feel really light um, to me, and they take me off. I, I was testing it out earlier, and I walked around all day. I got some of the color off. Well, you know, some of the color transferred, but after it kind of like dried and mattified, it was gorgeous. So that is the color, which is just an everyday pink. So that is summer breeze. It's just an everyday pink. I love it. I would definitely wear this to work if I was like in a rush and I didn't really feel like wearing like a bright gold lip like I'm usually do at work. Next color that I got is hippie chick, which is just kind of like a coral peachy color. Um, it's actually a little bit too light for my skin tone, but I can work with it. Um, I've gotten a little bit caramelized, as you can tell, and I've also been using like a self tanner to kind of even out my skin tone, which I'll talk about in my next haul that I'm going to do right after this one. So yeah. Um, so that this color right here is hippie chick. Like once again, it's kind of like a peach sherbet, like it's like a sherbet shade, like a peach sherbet shade. So, I mean, if I combine these two, it'd probably give me, like, the perfect pink that I would want. Um, but, that's that color. Now, this one, oh my gosh, has to be my absolute favorite. Say favorite? Favorite. This is really red. What? I can't tell you how many reds I have in here. I'm, I'm obsessed with red for my skin complexion. Now, since it's gotten, like, caramelized and looks so good. Now, I want you to see this. Like, I'm barely even touching my skin and look at that Ooh, the red is super pigmented but that is really red it has like a blue tint on it it reminds me of ruby Roo from um mac if you are a rihanna fan ruby Roo, um that's what it reminds me of because it has like the blue tint but as you can see i barely even touched it oh my that so really red is really pigmented so no perfect red i'm sorry Perfect red. Really red is from Revlon. Perfect red. Okay. Per it, it, it is the perfect red. It just reminds me of Revlon. A lot. Next set that I got is the Cupcake and Castle set. And um, one of them I am not going to swatch because I'm putting this in the giveaway. And it is their Glam Lipstick Aqua Lux. And this is in the shade Holistic. I'm not going to swatch it because once again I am going to put this in my giveaway 
and um like i said on twitter and on instagram once i reach about a hundred i'm definitely doing a giveaway getaway giveaway and every time i reach a certain amount of number then i'll do a giveaway that sounds cool so it's gonna be in my giveaway and it's just a glittery um pink um oh, shimmery pink i should say shimmer is not my thing but i know a lot of my best friends my 34 best friends love glimmer gl glimmer gl this lipstick a lot so i want to give this away and so i'm i'm putting it in my little bag of giveaway so also what was in that set which i really really wanted was the mood lip gloss from nyx and this is the smile bright the smile brightener lipstick and it's just a blue um lip gloss and it smells like mint so i'm just gonna put it on top of something i'm gonna well actually no i'm just gonna do like this you can see it's just a regular like blue lip gloss that you know say if you want the perfect red to have like a glossy finish but you still want your teeth to be popping out that will be the one but it smells really minty i hope it's not sticky i'm really hoping it's not because you know how i feel about sticky lip glosses um of course i had to pick up another one i'm going to show you my other haul that i'm going to do right after this i already picked up a butter gloss forgetting i forgot that i had one of these ordered already and so i was like cool and this one is in the shade tiramisu which is just like a ooh, whoa which is just like this glossy pinky nude um it's kind of like your lip but better i think i'm gonna try it out yeah it's kind of like your lips look better but glossier it looks like they're like silky i guess so yeah this will be a great topper for um one of my nude lipsticks that look so dead on me this will be a great topper to make it come alive so I like it. I love the smell of it. It's just the taste is horrible. The next set that I got from NYX is the Purple Rain Palette. Palette? Purple Rain set. Um, yeah. It came with the lipstick. And the lipstick that I got is their round lipstick, which is their original lipstick. And I got it in the shade Cafe. It's just this metallic um, purple. It, it's kind of like the daughter of the Milani Violet um, Bulk. Um, a little bit more demure. This is one of these uh, colors where if you kind of like the Violet Bulk, but you want to turn it, tone it down for either work or like school, this would be the color. So that is Violet, not Violet, um, Castle, which is like a lavender. It's like a lavender. It's really, really pretty. Um, a metallic lavender. So like I said, if you kind of want to tone it down for like work or something. Oh, lip liner which is in the shade purple rain i wanted their original lip liner these are like 350 on their website and wanted this color but then i remembered i had ordered it off the hot look so i didn't really need to do it and i love how they glide on super well and that's a pretty purple though that's a really cute purple so also what came in there i'm super excited to get this is their the nick pore filler primer and it says a magic agent that minifies the looks of pores to create a smooth porcelain doll like finish to your face. Use it as a base, wear it alone, or over makeup. I probably won't use it over makeup, but I'll probably use it either alone or as a base. Um, just to kind of like have like a nice you know? So, super excited to try this. Um, I, I've never tried this before. I never tried Nixie's face products. I've always tried like their eyeliner or something. Now their lips, you know. So. The last set that I got from NYX is the Summer Glow, ooh, Summer Glow set, and it came with a, well, it didn't come with that. It came with a Born to Glow Liquid Illuminate, Illuminate? Illuminator in Gleam Lear, which is just like a golden, um, it's just a like golden shade. It reminds me of Benefit. This reminds me of Benefit Sunbeam. I don't know what shade it is, but it just looks like Sunbeam to me a lot. Another thing that I got was a blush. I already have a NYX blush that I wanted so bad, and I got it in my 
recent June um Ipsy Glam bag, but this is in the shade natural. Um, what? I was kind of skeptical about it. I was like, eh, I don't know. But then I swatched it, and it just looks like a natural pink, like just a natural pink. You can't even see it. That's how natural. It is. This is a natural. Pink. And the last thing I got is the Extreme Lip Cream. And I got it in the shade natural. I wanted to try the Extreme Lip Cream line from them. It's just like a, a liquid lipstick. It's kind of like Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lipstick. And also um, Rimmel if you are in the London area. A pop the lip, a pop gold lipstick. Can I say that five times fast? It'll be Rimmel's a pop gold lipstick lip lacquer and if you're in the states like i am it is the rimmel show off lipstick which i think a pop for lipstick would have been sexier like it's in the shade natural and i like it but it does make my lips look bad so what i would do is probably put this on and then put tiramisu on top of it just to it on the but that is natural Okay, so on to the big humongous best thing that I've ever ordered from Home Look ever. So I'm gonna have to angle the camera and have a Okay, so here we go. So the next thing and the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is my makeup training case. I got this makeup training case from Home Look when they had um the Pro Love Makeup, I think it's that's what it's called. Um, so it came with some dividers like this one. These were on the bottom. They have smaller ones that I have put up already, and it came with a key. But what I look like locking up my makeup. It also came with a strap. So if you're kind of like a um, makeup artist and you want to carry your makeup around and stuff, this will be very beneficial. But I'm no makeup artist. I'm more of a makeup enthusiast and a beauty blogger so yeah so let's open this bad boy and see okay so as you can see i have opened it you have these options here you can um unclick it right here and then you fold it out and it comes out like this and you have your topper already as you can see i do have stuff in it um let me know if you want to see a what's in my makeup training case and i can basically organize it for you and how i would organize it so it has two well four tiers in it total two on each side and it goes out like that and as you can see i even still i don't know if y'all can see that i even still have room down here and i've got several different palettes down here including the bh cosmetics um 120 color palette down here um the Party Girl and the 28 Neutral Color Palette that I also got from BH Cosmetics. I also have my Claire Smoky Eye Palette and um, the Rock Girl Palette. I also got the Mary Kay one. Um, both of these, you, all three of these palettes you have seen in my Once Upon a Time video. Also, I have primers and everything in here. Eyeshadows, um, just regular tools and miscellaneous stuff all in here and it pulls up really really nicely and i can still see that i have room in here so and it came in like several different shades it came in like a red a zebra and a um white i believe and black so i figured i'd just go with the stainless steel um just because it look better and um just in case i did decide i wanted to do like freelancing work it would look bit more professional instead of looking ratchet with like a zebra printed training case so they just kind of snap back in place which is really nice when you have ink so that is everything that i got from hot look this is what did i get from hot look part two um so i hope you enjoyed this little haul um i will put all of the um companies down below and also the Hot Look website as well. Once again, I'm not getting sponsored by Hot Look whatsoever. I just really want you to catch all of these deals. I'm not getting sponsored by any of the companies that I mentioned today. I just really want you to catch all of these deals like I have been doing lately and it's just been an amazing time. Yeah. 
and I have a lot of tutorials coming up including my personality tutorial so make sure you look out for that I have like different types of pictures of my personalities already up which is so funny um, so make sure you follow me on Instagram also follow CC Sweet because once again I have a deal going on 4th of July this blowout sale um, 25% off your assorted package and the theme package as well which is a 4th of July one so make sure you go ahead and follow and subscribe and all this other stuff like thumbs up this video subscribe to more channels and also make sure you are a subscriber so that you can participate in my giveaway that is coming up really really soon and like I said um, once I get a certain amount um, 50 to 100 I'm doing a giveaway off that so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.